All right, so this is the G1000 setup video for VFR, or private pilot slash commercial. Um, so I teach the 2L method. Start with the right L, then we get to the left L. So before we start the G1000 setup, we'll have our ATIS obtained. What is the ATIS? That's our weather information that is current for the hour. Um, at here at Falcon, so you can see 118250 is set for a current uh, in comms 2, so that's the ATIS frequency. So we hit comms 2. And we'd hit speaker. Bible stop the runway center line contact tower 124.6. Bible north of runway center line contact tower 119.7. Five initial contact, you have information, Charlie. Charlie, so let's do it one more time. Air information, Charlie, 1954 Zulu, wind calm, temperature 34, dew point 9 or Altimer 29 or 84. Visual approach, news landing, departing runway 22 left, 22 right. 5G notums are in effect. Bible stop the runway center line contact tower 124.6. Rivals north of runway center line contact tower 119.7. Mars initial contact, you have information, Charlie. Okay, so we got Charlie, Charlie's current. All right, so we can just go back to comms one, turn speaker off. So we'll start with the right L first. So uh, runways fours uh, are in use. Uh, correction, runway two twos are in use. So we're gonna turn the heading bug first to our heading of the runway, so 221. But we're going to turn that to right there. Okay. And then our altitude. So for the AJ departure, the Chandler departure, we have 3,700 feet is our departure altitude. So we're going to go turn it to 3,700 feet like that. So then we can see our altitude is now bugged. Okay. We're going to go down to engine. We're going to hit either tabs or reset fuel. Uh, depending on how much fuel we're holding, most of the time it's going to be tabs. If you just hit the tabs button right here, let's see, the gallons remaining is 34, so that's tabs. Okay, we're going to use the FMS knob, go over here. This is our navigation page, we want to make sure maps, option. And we want to make sure for VFR it's set to topo, so like that. If we we're flying at nighttime, we're going to have relay on, but for day, topo. And then METAR is ticked, you can hit back. Okay, FMS knob again. We're gonna go down to traffic map. This is where you test the traffic system, make sure it's working. So you untick ADSB, and then you hit test. Uh, it's gonna do its test, and then I'll say either pass or fail. If it's pass, great, you're gonna re-enable ADSB, and then you're gonna hit flight ID so you can see all the different uh, airplanes around you. Good. Okay, FMS knob, the big knob here. We're gonna go, small knob, sorry, back to the top. We're gonna go big knob, all the way to the right to the auxiliary page. We're going to use the small knob then. We're going to go down to utility. So we want to push this FMS knob in like this. So it starts flashing like that. And we're going to use then the big knob to scroll all the way over to and hover over periodic. Once it's doing that, you're going to hit enter and it's going to reset the fuel timer to 15 minutes. That's how often you switch the tanks. Once it's done that, we push the FMS knob in again. We're going to go small knob down to GPS status. Okay, look at our GPS status here. We'll make sure we have all of our signals intact. Uh, what you can do is you can fast forward it to two hours in advance as well. So if I go one, two, push that in, enter, and I can compute RAIM. RAIM is available, that's what we want to see. Uh, if we go to SBAS, we want to make sure WAS is ticked. WAS is ticked, okay? Back to RAIM. Then we have GPS2. We want to make sure it also has its signals and strengths available. That should be good, cool. Push in the FMS knob again, big knob to bring up the menu, go over to system setup. The four things we're looking for is GS, ETE, ETA, and track. Sometimes those change, so you need to fix that. Um, so if you push in the FMS knob, okay, we're going to scroll all the way over to these four items, and this is how you would confirm that this is uh, the right thing. So this one we want ETE, so you'd push in ETE. Cool. All right. Now we go from ET all the way down to system status, okay? Push the FMS knob in, use the small knob to scroll, okay? All those are in the green, you want to hit an unseater test. Make sure it leaps, okay? Unseater test, and then that's all we need to do in the auxiliary page. So this is the right L complete. Now we move over to the left L. All right, you want to make sure your comms are set. So 121.3 is the ground frequency. 124.6 is the tower frequency. 118.250 is the ATIS frequency. Okay, so we have those set. 
going to go down. 2984 was our altimeter setting, so we're going to adjust the barrow to 2984, like so. All right, going to keep going down. We're going to go to the nearest function. Falcon, Falcon Field. We want to put Falcon Field as direct to, so direct to, enter, enter. That's going to put Falcon in our GPS, okay? We're going to go over to time ref. We're going to set our minimums to 300 feet above the ground surface of Falcon. So we're going to put, uh, if our field of elevation is 1,400 feet, we're going to put 1,700 feet in right there. Cool. Once that's good, time ref, XPDR. You want to make sure VFR is ticked and it says 1,200 like that. Good. Okay. Uh, CDI, we don't need to worry. This is how you get to your green needles. Don't have to worry about that right now. We'll, so we'll keep on the purple needle. We're going to hit OBS. We're going to use the small course knob here. We're going to tune this to the runway heading as well. Two, two, one. So we can see that's a line. And now what this does is it gives us a nice extended center line in our MFD, which really helps with situational awareness. Okay. Back to over here, PFD options, wind. You want that set to option one like that and back bearing pointers we don't we're not going to worry about those right now that's more of an instrument thing and vor thing but we'll get into that uh, at a later time but don't worry about that for now okay and then uh if you go over here map hsi you can adjust that that whatever you want to configure that to um and then you adjust your standby to 2984 and that is the g1000 setup with the 2l configuration for vfr flight or you know private pilot and commercial uh, commercial trading.